Casey with two tankards here. Welcome back to our build series on the Queen Bee 1500 by 1500 CNC. Today we're going to take a look at part three, which is going to be cleaning the bearing blocks and the linear rails, getting rid of all the shipping oil and everything that was on them during packing. So stay tuned. So before we proceed any further in the instruction manual, the next step that we need to do is first clean our linear rails and all of our bearings. This is needed because generally when shipped uh, overseas or wherever the material is being shipped from, your linear rails have a cosmoline type coating on them to prevent rust, as well as your bearings. They just have a lubricant in there that's designed for rust prevention. It's not really a lubricant that we'd want to use for uh, running the CNC. It would reduce the life cycle of the bearing. So the best thing to do is flush the bearings, clean them out, as well as clean off all the cosmoline or the shipping coating that is on your linear rails. To do this, you're going to need all of your bearings from your box, from your package from Bulkman. You'll need a glass bowl with some kind of a, a brush that you can use to just roll through the bearings. You'll need some grease. In this case, I chose to use a white lithium grease. You'll need some cotton swabs, something to run the grease into the bearings. You'll need a three millimeter bullnose Allen wrench. You'll also need a 2.5 millimeter bullnose Allen wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, very small, and you'll need some rubbing alcohol to pour in a bowl so you can soak your bearings in there. In addition, you're going to need your package of M4 socket head screws, as well as your package of M4 sliding T-nuts. Once we get everything cleaned, then we'll install the sliding T-nuts onto the rails and that will take us to the next step in the procedure for assembly, which is the side rail assembly. To clean the bearings, I do one bearing at a time so I don't get parts mixed up. When I open the bearings, I also notice that the grease circ is just sitting in the box. It's not packaged inside, so be careful with that. I open the bearings and I start removing the end plates and also note that I remove the bolts and everything with the bearing over the bowl of alcohol. That way if I drop something like I just did in the video here, it falls in the bowl and I can still find it later. Once everything is disassembled and the end plates are soaked in alcohol, I remove those pretty quickly and rub them off. And then I dry them because they do have rubber seals and gaskets on them and I don't want that sitting in the alcohol too long. To clean the bearing, I submerge the bearing completely in alcohol and I use the little plastic guide protector that came with the bearings to ensure the little bearings don't fall out and I sub make sure that the bearing is completely submerged and I roll it back and forth quickly. You can actually see the air bubbles coming out and the oil is getting displaced. You can see in the picture above all the gunk that come out of the bearings as I did this. That is basically what came out of all the bearings at the end. That's a final picture, but you can see that it do the process does clean the bearings really, really well that way. Once the bearings are cleaned, then I put the end caps back onto them. I replace the grease cirques and I stack them on the side as you can see in the picture above. And I stack them on the end so the alcohol can drain out one side and we will move on to the next step. So to lubricate the bearings, I tried the traditional way. Originally, I tried taking out the little plastic protector and I used a, a little brush to try to put in some grease and the bearings fell out all over the place and it was a pain to get all the bearings back into their location. So I found a better way to do it is just, just to use a can of lithium grease. I removed the grease circ and the plug on the other end and I actually shot the grease into it. And then I also shot a little grease into the edges where the little plastic protector rolls in there and it gets it all the way through the bearing. 
As you can see in the video above, if you remove the little plastic piece, you can see the lubricant has gotten completely 100% through all the bearings and all the bearing raceways, which is exactly what you're looking for. And now on to cleaning your linear rails. I used a bowl of alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Just use firm pressure and rub back and forth vigorously on the rail itself. Try to pay special attention to the V-groove where the bearing is rolling. That's going to be your primary area of concern. Make sure there's no dust, no lint, dirt, de or debris in them. And the last step is installing 144 T-nuts on the rails, which is about as fun as a root canal. So just grab a cold drink and sit back and get her done and push through it. And eventually you'll get them all installed. Just make sure you install them in the right direction. All right, folks, that's it for the rail cleaning and the bearing cleaning. Stay tuned for our next session which is going to be on the Y rail assembly and install and as usual if you like the content please click like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.